Hello everyone, this is Glenda Winkleman and welcome back to Creative Grandma. This is part two of my floral lace series. This is the floral lace dishcloth and it's pattern number 534 and the link to this pattern is available in the description box if you'd like to get this pattern. So this pattern here I made using the Premier Home Cotton yarn, which everyone knows Creative Grandma just loves Premier Home Cotton yarn. So I have my samples for you here today. My first sample was made using pink, white, and sage. So very, very pretty. My second sample, I used the Ocean Splash, white and yellow. And I made a third sample, but because I was rushing, I didn't realize I was using the, the wrong size hook. I actually used the smaller hook for the coasters, and you don't want to do that because your dishcloth will be tiny and tight. So make sure if you're following along, you make sure you bump that hook size up to the size H8, 5 millimeter for the dishcloth, or it's going to be tiny. It's smaller than it should be. So, But that's the sample. And that's my third sample using the multicolors, white and the aqua. So very, very pretty. No matter which one you make, they're all pretty. So to get this project started, what I did to save time with the videos is I'm using the first part of the coaster video because it's the same. This beginning of this pattern is the same. So if you really look close, it will show a size G hook. So do not follow with the G. You actually need the H hook. So I'm going to reuse that part of the video because it's the same. And then when I get to round six, you will see that I am really using the right size hook. So with that said, please make sure you're using a size H8 5 millimeter hook. So let's get this project started. I have my yarn tied around my hook. And I'm starting with my sage green. So we're going to begin by chaining four. So yarn over the hook, pull it through that loop, that's your first chain. Yarn over the hook, pull it through, that's two, three, and four. We're going to skip these first three chain and we're going to come down into this fourth chain from hook, your last chain, and we're going to slip stitch that together to form a ring. Insert your hook into that last chain, yarn over the hook, pull it through that chain, and pull it through the loop on your hook. Now you're going to pull this apart a little bit and we're going to work all of our stitches in that little tiny hole right there in the center of our ring. So to work round one, we're going to work a bobble stitch and a chain two seven times in our ring. Now the first bobble stitch will be a little different because we're going to chain one for the first half of that stitch. So chain one, yarn over the hook, insert it into the center of that ring, yarn over the hook, Pull it back through that ring. You have three loops on your hook. Pull that hook up just a little bit. Yarn over the hook and pull it through all three loops on your hook and that is your first bobble stitch. Now our bobble stitch we're using half double crochets and we work them halfway and then pull it through. So we chain two, one, two. Now I'm going to repeat the bobble stitch again, yarn over the hook, you're going to insert it into the center of that ring, front to back, yarn over the hook, pull it back through the center of that ring, pull up on your hook, you have three loops on your hook, yarn over the hook, insert it into the center of that ring, front to back, yarn over the hook, pull it back through the center of that ring and pull up you should have a total of five loops on your hook. One, two, three, four, five. Yarn over the hook and pull through all five loops on your hook. That's your bobble stitch. We're going to chain two. One, two. 
Now that was our repeat. I'm going to show you one more time. Let me just, I like to shove them over there so because you've got to squeeze seven of these in there. We did two. We need to do five more. Yarn over the hook. Again, this is the start of our repeat. Insert into the center of that ring. Yarn over the hook. Pull it back through the center of that ring. Pull up on your hook. You have three loops on your hook. Yarn over the hook. Insert it back into the center of that ring. Yarn over the hook. Pull it back through. You have five loops on your hook. Pull them apart so you can see them better. Yarn over the hook and pull through all five loops on your hook. Your bobble stitch is made. You're going to chain two. One, two. So we have one, two, three bobble stitches made and we have three chain two spaces made. You need a total of seven all the way around. So repeat your bobble stitch chain two four more times and I will meet you at the end of round one and show you how to join. I'm over at the end of round one and you should have a total of seven bobbles and seven chain two spaces. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven chain two spaces, and you end with that chain two space. So now we're just going to slip stitch to the top of this beginning bobble stitch. Insert your hook under the top two strands of that stitch, yarn over the hook, pull it through that stitch, and pull it through the loop on your hook. Now I'm just going to fasten off my work. Now for this video I'm just going to let my ends hang right in the back and I'm going to work over them. So I'll just take this yarn and hold it up here and work my new color right over that. So I'm going to grab my next color and I'll be right back. Okay, I grab my pink and I'm going to work the petals of my flower next. So I'm just going to keep about two to three inches, lay it right on top of that end of my old color. And we're going to insert our hook into that first chain two space after our joining bobble. So that's where we joined. Insert your hook from front to back in that chain two space. Grab that new color and just pull it through that chain two space. We're going to chain one. Now we're going to start our repeat. We're going to work one single crochet, three double crochet, and one single crochet in each one of the chain two spaces around and this forms our petal. Now I do have my ends here. I'm going to be working my stitches right over those ends so hold them right there insert your hook into that chain two space and work a single crochet. Yarn over the hook, pull it through that space, two loops on hook, yarn over the hook, pull it through two loops. That's your single crochet. Now when you're working these stitches you may have to just pull them over a little like that just to make room for all those stitches. We're going to work three double crochet in that same chain two space, yarn over the hook, insert it into that chain two space, yarn over the hook, Pull it through that space, three loops on hook, yarn over the hook, pull it through two loops, yarn over the hook and pull it through two loops. You just made a double crochet. We need to make two more. Yarn over the hook, insert it into that same space and work your second double crochet. Yarn over the hook, insert it into that same chain two space and work your third double crochet. Insert your hook into that chain two space and work a single crochet. And that is the end of our repeat and your petal is made. So I'll show you one more time. Insert your hook into that next chain two space. This is the start of your repeat and work a single crochet. Yarn over the hook, insert into that same chain two space and work a double crochet. Yarn over the hook, insert into that same chain two space, and work your second double crochet. 
yarn over the hook, insert into that same chain two space, and work your third double crochet. Insert your hook into that same chain two space, and work a single crochet. And that is the end of your repeat. So go ahead and finish around round two. You're going to work one single crochet, three double crochet, and one single crochet in each chain two space around. I will meet you at the end of round two and show you how to join. I'm over at the end of round two and you should have a total of seven petals. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So to join, we're just going to go ahead and slip stitch into the top of this beginning single crochet. Insert your hook under those two, top two loops. Yarn over the hook, pull it through those two loops, or through that stitch and through the loop on your hook. And then I'm just going to go ahead and fasten off. I'm going to, I think I need new scissors. I'm going to grab my white and I'll be right back to start round three. I have my white. I'm going to leave about a two to three inch length. Now this is the front. That's the back of our work. So what we're going to do now is we're going to pull our new color through and we're going to go in to the third stitch of that first petal. So you have your single crochet, a double crochet, and then that center double crochet. So count one, two, three. Insert your hook into the top of that stitch and just pull that new color through. Now you can leave the end in the back and you can weave that in after you get your round done when your little coaster is finished. That's the easiest way. We're going to chain one. We're going to work one single crochet, chain two, one single crochet into the center of that petal in that joining stitch. Now this is the start of your repeat. Insert your hook into the center double crochet of that petal or the third stitch and work a single crochet. Chain two. One, two. You're going to go back into the top of that same stitch and work a single crochet. So you just made a single crochet V stitch. So now what we're going to do is we're going to skip the rest of the petal and we're going to work a double crochet, chain two, double crochet between the last single crochet and the first single crochet of the next petal and we're going down here into the top of this bobble stitch. So yarn over the hook, skip the rest of this current petal we're going to go between the last single crochet of the current petal and the first single crochet of the next petal and we're going two rows below and we're going to just poke our hook right through the top of that stitch from front to back. Just poke it right through the top of that stitch and work your double crochet. Yarn over the hook, pull it back through that bobble stitch yarn over the hook, pull it through two loops, yarn over the hook, pull it through two loops. You're going to chain two. One, two. Yarn over the hook, you're going to go right into that same space where you worked your first double crochet. Go from front to back through the top of that bobble stitch and work a double crochet. And you can see how the double crochet v-stitch comes up to meet your single crochet v-stitch. And that is the end of your repeat. I'll show you one more time. You're going to find the third stitch of the petal. Now your first single crochet will be covered up a little bit. So just make sure you go into that center double crochet. Count up one, two, three. Insert your hook into the top of that stitch. Again, this is the start of your repeat. You're going to work a single crochet, chain two, and a single crochet in that same stitch.
we're going to skip the rest of our petal and we're going to work a double crochet whoops chain two double crochet between the last single crochet of this current petal and the first single crochet of the next petal and we're going to just take our hook and poke it right through the top of that bobble stitch yarn over the hook insert it from front to back just poke that hook right through the top of that stitch that bobble stitch two rounds below and work a double crochet you're going to chain two yarn over the hook insert it into the same top of that bobble stitch two rounds below and work your double crochet and that is the end of your repeat and you're going to repeat that around in each petal and between each petal around so again your repeat is you're going to go into the third stitch of the next petal which is the center double crochet and you're going to work a single crochet chain two single crochet into the center double crochet of that next petal you're going to skip the rest of the petal and work a double crochet chain two double crochet between the petals between the last single crochet of the current petal the first single crochet of the next two rounds below right in the top of that bobble stitch so go ahead and repeat that around and I will meet you at the end of round three and show you how to join I'm over at the end of round three and this is what your work should look like you should have a single crochet V stitch on the top of each petal and you should have a double crochet V stitch between each petal and to join we're just going to slip stitch into the top of that beginning single crochet insert your hook under the top two loops of that beginning single crochet and just slip stitch your round together I'm going to go ahead and fasten off my work I'm going to grab my sage green and I'll be right back and start round four I have my sage green now we fastened off with a single crochet at the beginning single crochet so what we're going to do is we're going to skip this beginning single crochet shell stitch and we're going to insert our hook from front to back in the chain two space of the next double crochet V stitch so when we work this around we're only working in the double crochet V stitches so pull your new color through and we're going to chain three one two three this chain three counts as our first double crochet yarn over the hook we're going to insert our hook into that same beginning chain two space of that double crochet V stitch and work a double crochet we're going to chain two we're going to work two more double crochet in that same chain two space so yarn over the hook insert into that same chain two space and work a double crochet yarn over the hook insert into that same chain two space and work a double crochet we just made a shell stitch we're going to chain two one two so now we're going to start our repeat you're going to skip this next single crochet V stitch and we're going to work two double crochet chain two two double crochet in this next double crochet V stitch so yarn over the hook insert into that next double crochet V stitch chain two space and work a double crochet yarn over the hook insert into that same chain two space and work your second double crochet chain two yarn over the hook insert into that same chain two space and work a double crochet 
yarn over the hook, insert into that same chain two space and work a double crochet. Your shell stitch is made and we're going to chain two. And then you skip the next single crochet shell stitch. So that is your repeat. So go ahead and repeat that around. You're going to skip this next single crochet V stitch. You're going to work two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet into the chain two space of that next double crochet V stitch. And then you're going to chain two. So basically all you're doing is working your shell stitch in the double crochet V stitch chain two space and then chaining two. And you're going to do that in each double crochet V stitch around. Go ahead and do that and I will meet you at the end of round four. I'm over at the end of round four and you can see that our shell stitch is in each of the double crochet V stitches and you should have a chain two space between each one and you should have a total of seven shell stitches one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. You end with a chain two and now to join we're just going to insert our hook into the top of that beginning chain three and slip stitch yarn over the hook, pull it through that stitch and pull it through the loop on your hook. So I'm going to go ahead and fasten off, grab my white and I'll be right back. Okay, I have my white and again I'm going to leave about a two to three inch length. I'm going to insert my hook right in the top of that beginning chain three joining stitch, right where we fastened off. I'm going to insert my hook right in that same stitch. Sometimes it's hard because I really tie a knot there. I'm just going to pull that new color through the white and we're going to chain one. Now this is the start of our repeat. We're going to insert our hook into the same space and work a single crochet. Insert your hook into the top of that joining chain three and work a single crochet. We're going to skip this next double crochet and we're going to work a single crochet, chain two, single crochet into this next chain two space. So skip the next double crochet, insert your hook into that next chain two space and work a single crochet. You're going to chain two. Insert your hook into that same chain two space and work a single crochet. You just made your single crochet V stitch. You're going to skip this next double crochet and you're going to work a single crochet into this next double crochet. Now we're going to work a double crochet, chain two, double crochet in the next corresponding chain two space two rounds below down in this single crochet V stitch. So we're going to work that double crochet right around this chain two space and when you work your stitch you're going to be working it right around both this chain two space and the top of this stitch. So yarn over the hook, take your hook in front of your work, go from front to back through that chain two space of that single crochet shell, two rows below or V stitch two rounds below. Yarn over the hook, pull it through and work that double crochet. Chain two. Yarn over the hook, you're going to come down into that same chain two space front to back and that yarn is going right around both the chain two space, both of the two chain two spaces grab that yarn and work your double crochet. That was the end of your repeat. I'll show you one more time. Insert your hook into the top of that next double crochet and work a single crochet. This is the start of the repeat. Skip that next double crochet 
you're going to insert your hook into that next chain two space and work a single crochet chain two and a single crochet you're going to skip this next double crochet and you're going to work a single crochet into the top of that next double crochet we're going to work a double crochet chain two double crochet in the single crochet shell stitch in the chain two space two rounds below yarn over the hook insert it into the chain two space two rounds below and work a double crochet chain two yarn over the hook insert it into that same chain two spaces space two rounds below getting a little tongue tied there and work a double crochet and that is the end of your repeat and you're going to start it all over again you're going to work a single crochet into that next double crochet skip the next double crochet work a single crochet chain two single crochet into that center of that shell stitch skip the next double crochet single crochet into the next and then you're going to work a double crochet chain two double crochet into that next corresponding chain two space two rounds below go ahead and repeat that around and I will meet you at the end of round five I'm over at the end of round five and this is what your work should look like you should have your single crochet your single crochet V stitch and your single crochet in your shell stitch and then you should have the double crochet V stitch in between each shell stitch and this is what it should look like so we're going to go ahead and join our round we're just going to join with a slip stitch in the top of that beginning single crochet under the top two loops of that stitch pull that yarn through slip stitch so to start round six we're going to start with the chain one yarn over the hook and pull it through the loop we're going to work single crochet V stitches around round six so we're going to insert our hook into that first beginning single crochet and we're going to work a single crochet chain two insert your hook into that same beginning single crochet and work a single crochet your single crochet V stitch has been made we're going to skip the next stitch and we're going to insert our hook into the chain two space of that next V stitch insert your hook and work a single crochet you're going to chain two insert your hook into that same chain two space and work a single crochet and I forgot to say that this is the start of our repeat when you work your first single crochet V stitch above that first double crochet of that shell so this is the start of the repeat we're going to skip this next stitch and we're going to work a single crochet V stitch into the next stitch so skip the next stitch insert your hook into that next single crochet and work a single crochet chain two single crochet into that same single crochet your single crochet V stitch was made we're going to skip this next double crochet and we're going to work our single crochet V stitch in the chain two space so insert your hook into that chain two space and work a single crochet chain two single crochet in that same chain two space you're going to skip this next double crochet and you're going to start your repeat in the next single crochet so your repeat starts at the top of that shell stitch in that white single crochet and it runs across to the next shell stitch right here where that single crochet is so this is your repeat I'm going to show you one more time you're going to skip this double crochet and you're going to start your repeat in this first single crochet above that shell stitch insert your hook into that single crochet 
and work a single crochet, chain two, and a single crochet all in that same single crochet. You're going to skip this next stitch and you're going to work a single crochet, chain two, single crochet into this next chain two space. Insert your hook into that chain two space and work a single crochet, chain two, single crochet in that same chain two space. You're going to skip this next stitch and you're going to work a single crochet, chain two, single crochet in this next single crochet. So skip the next stitch, insert your hook into the next stitch, and work a single crochet, chain two, single crochet in that same stitch. You're going to skip this next double crochet. We're going to insert our hook into that next chain two space and we're going to work a single crochet, chain two, single crochet in that same chain two space. You're going to skip this next double crochet and you're going to start your repeat all over again in this next single crochet. So go ahead and repeat that around and I will meet you at the end of round six. I'm at the end of round six and this is what your work should look like, a little lacy around your uh, dishcloth. We're going to go ahead and slip stitch into the top of that beginning single crochet, insert your hook under those two strands at the top of that stitch, yarn over the hook, pull it through the stitch, and pull it through the loop on your hook. So now we're getting ready to start round seven. So round seven is a pretty easy round. You're going to insert your hook into that first chain two space and we're going to slip stitch. Yarn over the hook, pull it through that chain two space and pull it through the loop on your hook. This is where we want to start our round so that's why we slip stitched in there. We're going to chain one and now we're going to start our repeat. We're going to insert our hook into that same chain two space and we're going to work a single crochet. We're going to chain two, one, two. That's your repeat. You're going to insert your hook into the next chain two space of that next V stitch and we're only working in the chain two spaces. You're going to skip the single crochets. Okay. So insert into that chain two space and work a single crochet. That's the start of the repeat and then you're going to chain two. One, two. That's the end of your repeat. Insert your hook into that next chain two space and work a single crochet. Chain two. Insert your hook into the next chain two space of that next V stitch and work a single crochet. Chain two. And that's all there is to round seven. So go ahead and you're going to work a single crochet into the next chain two space of that next shell stitch and then chain two. Insert your hook into the next chain two space of the next shell stitch and work a single crochet and then chain two. Repeat that around and I will meet you at the end of round seven. I'm over at the end of round seven and this is what your work should look like. You should have your single crochet, chain two, single crochet, chain two, worked around round seven. We're just going to go ahead and finish with a chain two. When you make your last single crochet, you end with a chain two and then you're going to come over and slip stitch into the top of that beginning single crochet. I'm going to fasten off my work. I'm going to grab my pink and I'll be right back to start round eight. So I have my new color and again I leave about two to three inch length hang. I'm just going to butt it right up against the top of my work with the white and I'll be working over these ends. 
you're going to insert your hook into any chain two space. You can start here where we fastened off or you can start in any one, it doesn't matter. You're just going to pull that new color through and we're going to chain one. Now we're going to start our repeat. We're going to single crochet in that same beginning chain two space. We're going to chain two and we're going to work a single crochet into that same chain two space. So you're working a single crochet v-stitch and that's the end of the repeat. So basically what we're doing is we're working one single crochet v-stitch in each chain two space around. So insert your hook into the next chain two space and again I'm just working my yarn, my stitches right over those ends of the yarn. You're going to work a single crochet chain two, single crochet in that same chain two space, insert your hook into that next chain two space and we're going to work a single crochet, chain two, single crochet in that same chain two space. And you're going to repeat that around. So go ahead and work one single crochet, chain two, and one single crochet in each chain two space around, and I will meet you at the end of round eight. I'm over at the end of round eight, and this is what your work should look like. You should have a single crochet v-stitch, which consists of one single crochet, chain two, one single crochet, in each chain two space around, and this is what it looks like. So you can be creative with these last two rounds. Now this might look prettier if I just did both rounds in pink, but I'm going to grab my green and bring my green out. It might even look nicer if I used white and I had a half notion to use white, but I'm going to stick with my pattern. But just because the pattern says green, I'm, th I'm thinking white probably would have looked nicer. And then that way this would have stayed looking like leaves but use your own judgment use whatever colors you have and how you like them put together so it's it's just a base of what you can do with this pattern okay we're going to just slip stitch into the top of that beginning single crochet and we're going to join our round I'm going to fasten off and I'm going to grab my sage green And I'll be right back and we'll do our last and final round, round nine. I have my sage green and I'm leaving two to three inch length. And I'm just going to come right up here and I'm going to grab my pink that I fastened off and I'm just going to run it right along the top of my work and I'm going to work my stitches over it. I'm going to insert my hook into that beginning chain two space. So insert your hook and grab that new color and pull it through. We're going to chain one. Now all we're going to do for round nine is we're going to work one single crochet, two half double crochet, and one single crochet in each chain two space around. So insert your hook into that beginning chain two space and work your single crochet. Yarn over the hook insert into that same chain two space and work a half double crochet. Yarn over the hook, insert into that same chain two space, yarn over the hook, pull it back through, you have three loops on hook, yarn over the hook and pull through all three loops, that's your half double crochet. Insert into that same chain two space and work your single crochet. That's all there is to round nine. You're going to skip the next two single crochet and again we're only working in these chain two spaces. Insert your hook into that next chain two space and work a single crochet. Yarn over the hook, insert it into that same chain two space and work a half double crochet. Yarn over the hook, insert it into that same chain two space and work another half double crochet. Insert your hook into that same chain two space and work a single crochet. I'll show you one more time. 
insert your hook into that next chain two space and work a single crochet. Yarn over the hook, insert into that same chain two space and work a half double crochet. Yarn over the hook, insert into that same chain two space and work a half double crochet. Insert your hook into that same chain two space and work a single crochet. So go ahead and work one single crochet, two half double crochet, and one single crochet in each chain two space around and I will meet you at the end of round nine. I'm over at the end of round nine and this is what your work should look like. You can see your little petals finishing off our dishcloth and we're just going to join with a slip stitch into the top of that beginning single crochet. So just insert your hook and slip stitch your round together and we're just going to fasten off. So this is the front. When you turn it over I do have a couple ends I have to weave in and then that's the front. Now I did want to remind everybody if you missed part one that was the coaster so this is the floral lace coaster and to make this coaster you just drop your hook size down to a size G and you repeat the first five rounds of that dishcloth. So this was part one, this is part two the dishcloth, my next video that I'm working on is for the granny square. So this will be part three and then if you stay tuned and follow along with this series then we take our circle and we turn it into this wonderful little doily and this is made with size 3 cotton thread so if you're going to follow along this might take me a little longer to get this video done I'm hoping to have it on by next week so pick your colors you're going to need three colors in size 3 crochet thread if you're going to follow along with me go ahead and get that yarn or thread whatever you want to use and then that way you'll have it to follow along Thanks again everybody for stopping by my channel. This again is pattern number 534, the floral lace dishcloth. So make sure you hit that like button, share this video, and make sure you subscribe to my channel so you didn't miss any of my videos or any of my giveaways. Happy crocheting everyone. See you next time.